guys good afternoon welcome back to our channel how is everyone doing i hope you're doing well i think this is my go-to hat now whenever i'm doing my hair review videos i kind of like it my signature look <laughs> welcome guys thank you so much for stopping by please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so and today i want to share with you guys the other side of the story that i shared on my last video um, when I was doing another hair review and I was telling you guys about the relationship lessons that we can learn from the young, young, famous and African. So in that first video, I talked about the ladies. Today, I'm going to be talking about the guys. All right. And the person that is keeping us companion today is Genoda Hair. Genoda is one of the B favorites, our own favorites. One of the favorites that we have, I have quite a few, uh, but you know that is a consistent one that I've partnered with over the years. And they make really good quality human hair. Done so many hair, hair, hair reviews with Genoda. So this is another hair and this is a summer hair, right? So what hair are we reviewing today? So the hair we are promoting today is from Genoda Hair. It's 4 by 4 closure, kinky, coily wig, wear and go, glueless bob wig. Yeah, it's summer, so yeah, we're doing bob. We're doing bob because it's hot, so it's, um, it's 4 by 4 closure, kinky, coily wear and go, glueless bob wig. It's pre-cut closure, yeah, pre-cut closure, human hair. This is only 12 inches, so it's quite short. Yeah. 12 inches. So let's meet our gorgeous summer hair from Genoda. Let's remove the ojugo so we can see what we are doing. What I like about Genoda is that they usually save me the stress of cutting the hair because their hair is just... It's literally just throw up, throw on and go. You see, it shots again. Cause, 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 cause. I have a thing for cause. How many times do I have to say it? Yeah, this is literally how it is from the box. I just unboxed it. And of course, Genoda will always give you this extra layer of security. Yeah. So they have the, the, oh wow i'm seeing something new here now wow look at that can you see this the edges can you see how shiny it is let me move it towards the camera can you see it's shiny like that can you see that is an elastic that can hold it in place like they don't play with the security like how to secure the hair. If you are ever worried, you are one of those people that worry about, oh, I can wear it and I wear it, keke, and the thing will fly off. Not with Genoda hair, never. Because they don't joke with securing the hair. So apart from having the four uh, hooks, this one, this one, this one, uh, having it all on the three, is it three sides? Yeah, three sides. They have... This one, which is, is like a brass trap. You can adjust it to the size of your hair. If you have big hair, you open it. If you have a smaller hair, all you have to do is just pull it and like this and you secure it. So, yeah, it, this is how it is. 12 inches. It's only 12 inches. It's bob, pre-cut, pre-plucked. Let me run the brush on the front and then let's talk about the guys on Young Rich Africa. The guys, who do I want to talk about? I'm not going to talk about Diamond because I feel like I, I did speak about him quite a lot on the last show. Diamond is a player. He's never going to settle. He likes the attention of girls. It is what it is. Any girl that's getting with it, getting with him knows what she's looking for. You're not going to end up being a baby mama or you're just going to have fun. He will fly you around the world, probably buy you expensive stuff and that's it. There are some girls that want that. So, yeah. At least, he's not hiding the fact that he's a player. So, I can't even judge him. Because he's told, he's told the whole world, I'm a player. I can't be faithful to one woman. But you know, our, our sisters, <laughs> women, we always think that we can do miracle. We are Jesus. 
So his sister there will be out there now thinking, I'm going to change him. Once I get pregnant for him, he will change. He will love me alone. Sister, stop drinking that Kool-Aid. Era Mafagbo, as Allah will say. Rara Mafagbo. He's never going to change. That's his nature. He's told you who he is. And if someone tells you, this is who I am, believe them. Okay? All right. Let's see how this wig is going to look on Mama. Summer wigs. The wigs that we are going to rock. Okay? I've taken my hat off and I'm going to brush it because it's going to look better when I brush it. I like my hair big. I like it full. I like everything big, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm a big girl. I'm a Bobo Bees girl, so I like big stuff. You know. You know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm brushing it out so that it will be big. It's going to kind of look like afro. Obviously, if you don't like the big look, you can just leave it with the curls, but I'm going to prefer it like this. So, who do I want to talk about? Andale. Andale is the one I want to talk about. Swanky. Nothing to talk about Swanky. Swanky was just put on the show to cause drama. He didn't disappoint, right? So, his, his behavior is very typical of all these, you know, men that are not straight and they're on reality tv they always feel like they need to be you they are behaving like i don't know they bring the drama okay he dresses very out loud very loud with all the jewelry and everything but he didn't have any relationship with anybody so i can't even make any comment about that he was just causing a lot of drama everywhere but Andale, I'm interested in Andale. I did say when I was doing the show, uh, when we did the show about what uh, Tubaba said about uh, cheating, that I like Andale. I did like him, Andale. I hope I'm pronouncing it well. I like Andale because I think he's a very sweet guy. He's a player. He's still a player. But you know these kind of players that have very... They are romantic. <laughs> Andale is a player that is romantic. So Andale decided to do something because now he said he doesn't have, you know, he doesn't have a girlfriend. He wants to be loved. He's jealous of all these people that are in love and they are, you know, and he wants something like that. And he decided that, you know what, instead of going forward, maybe I should look in what he has two baby mamas, right? We took four children between them. And then he decided to call the second baby mama to see if he can get it on with her. And I think they are both feeling him. To be honest, the very charming guy. Really charming. And you know what I love most about him? He's a very good listener. He has a deep soul. Is this kind of a person that when you have a sit down with him, he will get to the bottom of what is troubling you. Remember when he took Louis out? Um... In one of the episodes, I can't remember the episode that it was, and Louis, after Louis was, you know, bullied and all that, he took Louis out and wanted to get to know Louis. And then he was the first person that Louis from Namibia opened up to about his, uh, his family dynamics, that his family, they rejected him because he went to Big Brother Africa and went to Kiriwasan one day. And he said that in his, uh, where he come from, his family, they are deeply religious and his parents and all the congregation basically disowned him. You know, since I watched that thing, I've been thinking about what kind of Christian denomination is that? That, okay, he's a young man. He made a mistake. He went to a reality show and, you know, he messed up. He, he shouldn't have done that on national TV anyway. Because I don't think if he, did, if he didn't do it on national TV, they would not see him. Right? If he didn't do it on a reality TV that was being shown all over Africa and he did it secretly, maybe they would not have done that. And that's why you see there's a lot of pretense in the church. I was kind of troubled about that. I'm not going to lie. Why would your parents turn their back against you that they cannot even forgive you as a young person because you made a mistake? Is that what Christianity is all about? I don't know. What kind of Christian denomination? You guys from Namibia that knows Louis. Please, tell me in the comment section. Is it Jehovah Witness? What kind of Christian congregation is that? Are they Christians? Or are they... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's let's put this baby on. 
Okay. Let's put it on and try to style it. Try to style it. Should we do center or side? I usually like to do side. I'm doing side. Yeah, let's do side. Side is better. Some people like center, but I like side. And I'm just going to... I'm going to make it big. Like I said, I'm a big girl that likes big things. Everything about me has to be big. When you are big, you are big. That's what they say in Nigeria. <laughs> oh my God. The bigness, no reach back account to. Don't ask me for anything, no. All of us, the hustle, I beg go. I shall know a jail. <laughs> okay. It's taking shape. Let's see the back. You want to see the back? This is, is a bob. This is the bob. And it's a summer look. Yeah. What's not to love about this hair? You know that never ever disappoints. I'm telling you, they don't. They never disappoint. Yeah. Simple. Very straightforward. No long thing. It's just by the shoulder because it's 12 inches, isn't it? There's no lace to cut. It's a throw-on wig. Just remove it from the pack and throw it on. Yeah? That's what this wig is. I am loving it. It's giving me Afro vibes. And I love my Afro. Which African woman doesn't like Afro? Afro is our thing. That's the look. It's Afro bob, 12 inches. Throw-on wig. Yeah, so if you like this look and you want to rock it this summer, remember we're preparing for summer because summer is here now. We are going into June. By the time you are watching this, I'm recording this on May 29th. By the time today is the day that Nigeria got a new president, uh, by the time you are watching this, will probably be in June. But yeah, summer is here, so go, go get yours from Genoda here, Genoda. They are the one. The link to this hair and many more is on the screen and it will be in the description box. And the lair is a very sweet guy. I feel like as a young man, he made some mistakes in his relationship, right? So, he was with this really... Did you guys see how the baby mama, the first one, is so gorgeous. Both of them are actually very fine. They're actually very beautiful ladies. The first baby mama is she's so hot she is so beautiful and she's tall dark beautiful african woman the second one is more petite but she's also very very beautiful now he's got this for children he doesn't know what to do he feels like oh if i go and marry someone else now i start dating somebody else am i gonna you know start making more babies and all that so he's thinking of looking inwards right like maybe let me look inwards but yeah, Katan Walla si Shokoto or one in Shokoto, you know. But <laughs> the second the second wife, yeah, or the second ex. I don't know if you married both of them. I don't know if you married any of them. The second baby mama is a no nonsense girl. She is properly fierce. And she was like, is that you are in or you're out? And I respect that because she was basically telling Andele that, no, I'm not here for all that uh, back and forth. Because he said that he's attracted to her. But the first baby mama too wants him. Now he's confused. <laughs> Did you see that scene when the second baby mama came to the house and he was kind of telling her, how would you feel if I got back with the second baby mama? Sorry, I don't know their names. I can't remember. So I'm just using baby mama. Uh, one and two. And she was like, well... I've been sending you signals. I'm telling you that there's a possibility we'll get back together. But I'm not going to ask again. Then he got confused again. So I think Andale is just this young man who is... He's a nice guy. He's made some mistake. He's trying to right the wrongs that he's, you know, he's made in his previous relationship. And he's trying to see, okay, maybe I can make it work with one of these baby mama. But he's confused. He doesn't know. To be honest, I think he likes both of them. But he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know where to go to. He's attracted to both of them, and they are both beautiful women. So he's stuck in the middle. 
At a point in that show, I swear that I was when I was watching it, I was like, marry both of them, I beg we could rest. <laughs> of course, that would never work. Then even if it's the first baby mama, I don't think she will agree. The second one is fierce. Just like na 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 na. So I mean. What can we learn from Andele? He's a nice guy, but sometimes even nice guys can. They create a whole lot of mess for themselves that is difficult to clean up. Yeah, he's trying to clean up his mess, but it's not so easy because we are talking about human relationships. Romantic relationships, they are not so, it's not cut and dry like that. These are people's lives. You got children with these women. How are you going to fix it? So it's not so easy. So I guess people need to be very careful. You know, sometimes because it's not all messes that can be cleaned up with human relationships. Who do I want to talk about? I want to talk about... Let me talk about uh, Naked briefly. Naked... Naked is a, is, a, is, a, is a nice, sweet guy. And he he likes commitment. But unfortunately for him, he's with, <laughs> he's with a much younger woman. So the expectations are higher. Very beautiful girl who obviously loves him, but he's not meeting up. And every time he does something romantic, she'll be like, you did this, you did this. At the point, he got upset. He was like, if you ask me again whether I did this, I won't do it again. <laughs> he likes relationships, but because he's been married twice and two marriages, failed marriages, he's scared. He doesn't want to make another mistake, which is understandable. Unfortunately for him, instead of going to date somebody that is compatible in terms of age and experiences, he went for a much younger woman. This is what I always say about, you know, you are you are 30, you are 40 years old, you are dating a 20 something year old. Issues are gonna come up. So the 20 something year old wants marriage, and now you are holding back because you are scared. You don't want to make a mistake for the third time. And she's like, Where are we going? Or Benny? Are you going to marry me or how long is this going to go on for? If he was with a woman who probably had children before, who's had, you know, a similar, not exactly the same kind of life experience. She'll be more relaxed. She will not be pushing for marriage all the time. She'll be like, okay, let's see how this goes. But you are with a much younger, <laughs> much younger woman. So now you got to do what is right by her. So I think it's caught in that, in that drama of trying to please his younger girlfriend who is asking for commitment, she's asking for marriage, and he's hold, he has cold feet because he's scared of making a mistake for the third time. Okay? So, the lesson there, as far as I'm concerned with naked, is date within your age bracket. Date somebody that is compatible with you in terms of life experiences so that the pressure will not be there for you to marry, marry, marry me now, marry me now, marry me now. Because if the girlfriend already has children, she's been married before, she will not be so, you know, crazy about marrying, marrying, marrying. The final person I want to talk about is Louis. Louis is my favorite out of all of them. Louis from Namibia, a very sweet, sweet, sweet young man. Beautiful, gorgeous. He's so hot. Jesus. He's, he's, he's deep. He's reserved. He's very naive. <laughs> And they throw him into this mix of all these men that have been there, done that, they are wearing the t-shirt. He was lost. He didn't know what to do. And then he started liking Fantana. I, I talked about it in the last video, how that worked out. Didn't work out well for him. And because he wants to create a family for himself now, he's looking for somebody that will give him eggs. And his so-called friend went and started, he confided in the so-called friend, who is a Kanye or whatever she's called, I can't remember her name. I think it's something Kanye. She went and told uh, Zari that uh, Lou is asking for your eggs. <laughs> How do you think that will sit with a woman that a man you hardly know wants your eggs to have babies? But I see where his hunger for marriage is coming from. He's been rejected by his own family. He said his parents have not spoken to him for years. He's been excommunicated from his, his community, his Christian you know, come in. I don't know. Again, I'm asking anybody from Namibia, tell me what kind of Christian denomination is that that has no forgiveness in the Bible that they read that a young man will go to Big Brother Africa. He made a mistake and then you have to punish him. Even his own parents have to punish him for so long 
by not talking to him. He said he cannot have contact with his family. And he's not had contact with them for years. That's not Christianity. The brand of Christianity that people practice in Africa is not what Christ preached. Christ is love. Anything that has to do with Christ is love. And when you love someone, forgiveness is a part of it. If you cannot forgive and you claim to be a Christian, you are not a Christian. So, I mean, what can I say? Louis is a sweet guy, lovely guy. He feels very lonely. He feels very empty, obviously, because he's attained a level of success now. And he can't even share it with his family. And so he's trying to create his own family. Is he going about it the wrong, the right way? No. He's looking for surrogacy. It's for him to have a baby without commitment. But you don't put the cat before the horse. You have to put the horse before the cat. It's the horse that pulls the cat. So uh, I don't know if he's doing the right thing. I hope he doesn't go ahead with it. I think he will find so many women. Instead of looking for a surrogate, maybe you want to get married. Or look for at least something more serious with a woman that you can raise a child together. Instead of just looking for somebody to give you a child by surrogacy or somebody to give you eggs. But I think all together, all the guys that were on the show, amazing, different breads, you know, different breeds of guys from different walks of life. But Louis, for me, stood out. He was a decent, very, very genuine person. He had no airs around him. He was authentic. He was honest and he was humble. What else do you want from a man? Hardworking, successful in his own right. So for me, Louis, he was the best man in that show. What do you guys think? Anyway, let me just drop it here today. We are talking about this gorgeous hair. In case you're just, you're just picking up this, it's from Genoda Hair. And all the information about the hair is going to be in the description box. It's a beautiful 12 inches bob pro on wig and yeah if you follow me on instagram you'll see the pictures i'm going to take loads of pictures this is one of the looks i'm going to be rocking thank you so much if you want to get yours any other hair you want from Genoda, we have loads of different hair and i've tested and i can trust their brand check the description box for discounts and go get yours from Genoda hair thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one i love you Bye, guys.